Hello. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you to my corner today. You know who is talking to you now. This is your only little one must speaking, talking, watching it. My Jehovah. Happy Sunday to everyone and happy new week to all of us. Welcome to my corner. Please do me a favor. Share this message you're about to listen to. Subscribe and also like and also make some comments because I'm going to be talking about things that concerns the whole world. Welcome to my health corner titled Ask Lily. I'm talking about health care. You may ask me what is health care. Health care is the process, the essence of taking care of your health of taking care of your body, spiritual, physical, emotionally, and otherwise. We need to take care of ourselves. We have to do this. Health care starts from our head, down to the crown of our feet, okay? I see some people, or we're used to just washing our faces, cleansing the face, putting some nice lotion on our, on our face and, it, and the rest of the body. We have this culture of taking care of the body just from the face going down to the legs. We pamper the whole body. When, when this arm is aching, you take some pain medication. When the stomach is drawing, you call your doctor. You take some medication to feel better. When the legs are aching, we do something different to make us feel better. When the entire body is weak, we go for massage. We go when when nurse are not looking up to point. We go to the manicurist and get our fingernails, our toenails pedicured, manicured, and getting painted, and come looking flying and looking sharp. Whatever we, name we can use for it. But we just want to say, we, oh, our fingers are slain, they're, they're neatly done. But health care, in every honesty, should start with the brain. Our health care, I repeat, will start from the brain, from the head. The word stigmatizes anyone with mental health problem. Anyone that has a mental problem, we try to segregate them, we try to avoid them, we try to make them look like they're not human beings. But in every honesty, we are the people that are sick because we are forgetting one thing, that the head is part of our body. And that this head contains the brain that execute a lot of functions in our body. You say that your body is not feeling good, you want to rest. It is your brain communicating with what is called neuron or neurons. There are neurotransmitters that the brain uses to communicate to the entire body. I'm trying to say here that your brain is the central processor of your body, just like the computer it has the processor that helps us to walk and do everything. The brain tells us when to go to sleep, y'all. The brain tells us when to eat. The brain triggers a chemical that tells the stomach it's time for you to eat and then you start feeling hungry. And then the brain also sends a chemical that tells the stomach you're full. Then the craving for hunger stops. So I'm asking you, why can you not go for health care when your brain is not functioning properly? The time you're becoming depressed or moody or melancholic like we, we may call it or becoming blue, that's when the, the brain is saying to you, my dopamine level that helps me to stay in a cheerful mood is decreasing. Refuse me back. 
meaning go to the doctor, talk to the doctor, go to, go to, go, go to your uh, professional team members, and I, I mean your healthcare professional team members and tell them, oh, my brain is a little bit dizzy. I'm beginning to forget something. I don't seem to recall a lot of things. This is when the, 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 the chemical in your brain calls to return and is saying to you, there's an imbalance. Take care of me. Guys, how do we take care of our brain? By you sleeping at the right time. Having enough sleep, having enough rest. You can sleep for like about eight hours, at least six hours. Quality sleeping will help your brain to reset itself. How do you take care of your brain? Whatever the stress is, you stay away from that thing. And if you want to go through stress, right? Your response to stress is what matters. It's not even that you're going through stress. Because we are bound to be stressed out as human beings. And the brain also has um communicating feature that can tell you when you're going through stress. This is when your adrenaline begins to surge or begins to increase. This is when you begin to have the fight and flight and, and fight reaction of the brain. This is when anxiety level begins to increase. This is when you begin to feel you're panicking because something is wrong. It's okay to express anxiety and anxiousness. As a natural way that the body says, something danger is, is happening, is about to occur. Then you become alert to that situation and take care of it. And if this situation is too much that you cannot take it, call somebody, call a doctor, call a nurse, call a healthcare professional to help you out. Don't kill, kill yourself trying to solve problems. Don't kill yourself because you're getting too stressed. Because stressors are natural features of life. Stressors are real. They will come, but how do you respond to it? If somebody comes talking to you in a way you don't like, do you go fighting? Do you go get into verbal altercation with this person? No. Just retrace, retrace your steps. Relax. Walk out from that problem. When you're back in a problem, that means that problem is behind you, it's not in front of you. You're moving forward for something better. When you're getting depressed for one reason or the other, and you're trying to stay happy, you're trying to go out, maybe do the things you love to do, but still, that dark feeling is still in there. Brother, sister, it is high time you call your doctor at this moment. Call your doctor. Talk to somebody so that they can help you. There's some other mental problems or some other psychiatric problems like bipolar, schizophrenia, social disorder, mood disorder. There's so many brain sicknesses that if I begin to tell you now, I won't have enough time to express all of them. But just know that it is okay to go for mental health care once you begin to feel that. Don't let anybody discourage you from going to get a cure that will that will help you fix your properly in life or live better in life. Yes, I know in our society today when somebody is suffering from any of these mental sicknesses, people start laughing at you. People avoid you. Okay, let them avoid you. They go and get some treatment and feel better so that you can reintegrate yourself back into the society. Do we know how many people that are suffering from mental health sickness, you will not know. There are a lot of them. Your next door neighbor can be suffering from mental health, health care, mental, mental health problem. Your sister somewhere could be going through mental health problem. You don't even know that. Even yourself, how do you know that your mental health status is, 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 is intact? You will not know that. Talk to somebody. Talk to your doctor. Talk to your better friends, okay? I say sleep. Management of stress in a positive way can help you decrease mental health problems. And don't try to do so many things at a time. There's a song that says, God, give me the grace to do one, one thing at a time, just to live one day at a time. 
not doing too many things and trying to travel, trying to solve the whole problem in the city, it will not work. You break down, my dear. So ladies and gentlemen, please, let us learn to take care of our mental health. Don't be thinking too much because thinking is one of those things that break down your skull or your brain or your mental health. Please, if you have any mental health care, problems, concerns, there's so many numbers to call. Whatever you are, call that local number to get cure, to get healing, to get assistance. Alright? That is the message I have for you for today. And I wish you a beautiful, great, successful, lovely, and new week. And may the Lord be on your side 24 7 as it's connected to the Lord through praise and worship, through singing, through prayers. Alright? And be kind to yourself. Take a cup of tea. Like I'm doing. Two times a day. I even three times a day. Eat your food. Eat your food. There's some natural food that can even help you clarify your farm brain. Okay? Eat food. Exercise. Stretch. Even if it's simple stretching. It will help you. Okay? Alright. So, don't you forget to listen to your music though. This is your girl. Let me send one more chinik if you can talk in. Peace. I love you. I'll come back to your way again very soon. Okay? Peace.